Okay. In this video, I'll be doing a full K24 engine breakdown, and by the end, you'll know exactly how to tear down an engine, even if you've never done it before. So step one for dismantling the engine, you wanna take off the valve cover. I used a 10 millimeter socket to take off all the bolts holding this down, and as well, I just took out the spark plugs, which are a 5.8, and then you could just pry it out just like that. After the valve cover, I'm gonna take off this crank pulley. This section is very hard to take off. What I like to do is just get some extra leverage and this is just from my jack. <sighs> then you could just take it out just like that. This is gonna get thrown away. I know OEM's good and all, but I just like throwing the ARP one on there because you could put those tighter. As you can see, this just usually pops right out, but it's really stuck on this. Okay, so right now I'm just gonna be using the 10 millimeter socket to take off all these bolts right here. The bond two bolts on this engine are gonna be different than the rest. If you notice, this one has like a shoulder and these really don't, they're just regular bolts. And it's just gonna be these two right here. Boop, boop. And these three are gonna be different as well. These have a spot with no thread. These bottom three that go to the oil pan have thread all the way, so just FYI. Throws into a bag. I just put front cover on these. So I'm gonna pry this case off. There it goes. There's just a camshaft position gear and there's a sensor that goes on that housing that reads this, these little spaces. So it kind of tells the computer where the camshaft is for its positioning. You take that off, take this chain off. We're gonna take these off. The bolts that we're gonna take off now are this one, this one, and this one. These are also 10 millimeter bolts. So we're just gonna crack them loose. Also a good idea to check the condition of these timing chains. Yeah, they're a little worn. I might just replace these. It's always better to replace them than to keep them. And then I'm gonna take this timing chain guide off so I could take this timing chain off. Take these out. I'm gonna leave these in here just so we know where they go. Took out this uh, timing chain guide. That's gonna allow us to take off the timing chain, which looks like it's still in good condition. I usually just change these out no matter what. Good insurance so you don't mess up your engine. I'm gonna flip this so that I can take all this front face off. You didn't even run, you stood there for like two seconds. No, Whatever, it's fine. It's gonna drip on the fuck, that's what the carpet's for. For someone like me, how am I gonna be able to like take apart this engine? Like you're showing me, but like, how do I remember where everything goes? I'm already confused. Well, it's a good thing to record, you know? <laughs> I could go back and watch the video. <laughs> But no, if um, seriously, if you don't know how to take it apart and like you think you're gonna be stuck, take a lot of pictures of everything, where everything goes. And as far as these bolts, I like throwing them in here and then writing like these are the timing chain guides. So I'll put that on there because a lot of these bolts look exactly the same. So I'm just going around breaking these bolts loose around the edge. All, All these bolts these. around here. These should have nuts, but I took them off to put them on the other engine. You can tell this one has a lot of dirty stuff around the edge. I think from the, all the oil it was leaking. Cause yeah, it smells burnt. Oh God. Oh, it's about to be so satisfying. Ooh, we could hold that. That's what you call milkshake baddies. Yeah. Oh. We're gonna be taking off these tensioners. You go on the box. Okay, and we're gonna take off this. And this comes off together. These two in the front, this one, this one, uh -huh. and then this one and this one. Smell no, this? no, no, that shit stinks like it smelled over here. It's so gross. Ooh, that's cool. Now we're gonna take this off. Uh, these are the oil baffles for the old oil pump, but the new oil pump that we order from Four Piston comes with these. Do not lose these bolts because you will need to reuse them for the new baffle. So keep these bolts, get rid of the baffles. These are trash. First, we gotta take off the top end before we rotate any of the pistons because then they could crash into the valves. So that would be bad and it will bend valves and it'll just cause more catastrophic failure. For this, I need this because there's so much oil in there that I can see. Oh, we gotta take this off. There you I go. Got it. Super easy, but you need that little special tool. You don't need it, but it makes your life so easy, so much easier. This thing is amazing. This allows the oil filter to drain. Look at that. Well, how is it made for that? Yeah, it's made for the oil filter. Time for the top section. Anytime you're dealing with something that's under high pressure, you want to unbolt in a start pattern, basically. 
So what that means is if you're gonna unbolt here, unbolt this one, then you could go to this one, then this one, and basically do the outers and then inner same way, and then move in, move in. That just ensures that nothing gets bent and everything stays aligned. Okay, first I'm gonna go through and take off the 10 millimeter bolts. These little ones and then these two in the back. I'm gonna go through and take off these 12 millimeter bolts right here. Yeah, something's up with this engine, bro. This shit stinks. It's definitely broken. What's wrong with it? I don't know, the bolt's like gnarred or something. Whoa, look. There has to be something wrong with this engine. Look at this. This big old chunk of, looks like bearing material or some kind of metal. All this right here. See all those sparkles? Yeah, I yeah. think this motor So what I like to do, I get the two ends, make sure everything's unscrewed, kind of wiggle it back and forth, and then it should start coming out like that. And that's it. I like to just keep them all together, just so the bolts stay on. Next step, you just pull these cams straight out, just like that. All I'm gonna be reusing off of these, the bolts, and then this bolt, I'm gonna get a new BTC gear. I'm gonna get the 50, 50 degree, degree or 45, whichever. And then I'm keeping this with this bolt as well. We are going to pop these caps off with Is the rocker, rocker arms. Arm? Yes, so we're gonna stick ah! this in here. Careful, these things will spring back at you. I'm gonna crack loose the head. So for the, ooh, look at that, that's nasty. Some nasty oil. Start cracking these loose. One third turn first, so we don't warp the head. Damn, these are tight. This one you're gonna have to go crisscross. You do not want to mess these up. It's gonna barely loosen them, so we're gonna do a third of a of a full rotation. Oof, smelled worse than the engine that I bought. Remember how the other one smelled like fish? This one smells like burnt plastic. Smell that. No. Next step, we are going to pry this bad boy off. Okay, here's the reveal for the pistons. First time I'm seeing them, first time you're seeing them, first time everybody's seeing them. Hopefully nothing messed up. Isn't that bad? <sighs> they don't look horrible. That's but... horrible. I don't know what this looks like, but it doesn't look good to me. Head gasket doesn't look horrible. It's starting to go out though, so. It doesn't look horrible. Just needs a good cleanup. Probably send it out to the machine shop to get it cleaned up. Okay, now we can flip it over. This is an E14 tool. Basically it has these splines inside and that goes zoop right there to take off the pistons. I'm putting the bolt on so I can spin the crankshaft. And I'm also doing it so when I try to loosen these, I can hold this so this isn't moving on me. Look starts moving around. I don't want it to move around, so I have to use this. Piper now, Buddhism. Your followers probably know what that is. I don't think so. Comment below if you guys watch White Lotus. This one's Buddhism. There's these things down here called oil squirters. See those? That bolt right there, that's an oil squirter. If you look at this one, that's what we're taking off. 10 millimeter With and four extension. of those oil thingies. Oil squirters. Oh. And this is the oil squirter. Squirts oil on the back of the piston. Oh, you have to turn it, right? Yeah, you have to like finesse it because this uh, counterweight won't let you get into there. So you have to do it when the two pistons are up. One. Like oil squirter? Take off the rest of the bolt for the rod caps. So we can do one and four and then two and three. Well, these don't look horrible. Like it's, you can see how fine these threads are. That just means they hold so much harder than regular threads. Because the finer the thread, the more torque you could add to it. This is the bearing right here. You can see how dark this is. Just a lot of heating, but I mean, the bearing's good. It's not, you can't see any copper through it. I'm just gonna take this one off. Wait, what are you doing now? Popping the piston out. Piston from cylinder one. Before I continue removing these pistons, I damaged this bearing when I pulled it off. So I'm just going to remove the caps on the other two and then um, then take the whole girdle off and the crankshaft off 
That way I can push the pistons out without damaging them. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go around and take off all these 12 millimeters bolts that hold the girdle. You don't have to do a sequence on these because they're not on the actual crank. Just helping the girdle uh, seal properly. You can see that there's two blocks. Basically. Yeah, this is the girdle that holds the crankshaft to the engine block. And then we're gonna work on, on loosening the actual crank bolts. All these are the same size, except these two right here. These are the longest ones. Same thing with this one. We're gonna take it apart and sequence, so. So now we're taking off the middle Now bit. we're gonna take off the main cap bearing. Do you have to take everything off bolt. in a sequence? Just this section because it's what's holding this together. Excuse Wait, me. I have a question. So I thought the girdle was just held on with that. The girdle's also held on with these? Yeah, the crank, where the bearings are for the crankshaft, because there's bearings on here too. Yeah, just be sure you untighten them in sequence, because you don't want to mess these up. Ooh, I hear that. It's like some ASMR. If I shut the f up. Yeah, you just keep <laughs> yapping. <laughs> This is what you call a bear, bear, a bear, a bear block. Wow. And that's what you call probably a broken piston. Oopsies. Well, I'm just trying to remove these. Okay, so now we can flip it. I think I knew this is worth. We'll have to buy a straight edge in order to confirm, but we should be fine. It's a 24 millimeter and just taking off this oil pressure sensor. That was stupid loose. Okay, probably end up doing a new one or probably deleting it or doing one with the sensor so I can put the gauge inside. And then this side is just a knock sensor. It's broken anyway, as you can see. I tried to switch it to my other engine and then I ended up breaking it. So I ended up buying a new one from K-Tune. This is just another sensor, trash. And then, yeah, there you go. That's a bare engine. Now that you know exactly how to tear down the K24 engine, you can join me on my journey as I rebuild this thing, turn it into a thousand horsepower engine to put into this piece of junk because Throttle built a sick ass Integra and I kind of want to try building one too with kind of way less budget and way less experience.